Hi everyone, welcome back to Social Studies. Yesterday we talked about the National Anthem, and can anybody remember who wrote the National Anthem? Look at this picture here. If you said Francis Scott Key, he was the author of the National Anthem that we talked about yesterday. The National Anthem is a symbol of the United States, and we are going to talk about another symbol in today's lesson, which is the White House. Let's go ahead and look at some pictures of the White House here. One is an older picture and one is a newer picture. Can you think for just a moment, what is the White House? What is the White House? If you said the White House is where the president lives and it is the president's house, you would be correct. We're going to read a short passage here about the White House. The White House is located in Washington, D.C. This is where the President of the United States lives. It is more than 200 years old. It was first called the Executive Mansion. President Theodore Roosevelt named it the White House in 1901. It is a symbol of freedom and democracy. These values are important to the American people. So we can see again in our reading that this is where the President of the United States lives. Think about this for a second. How is the White House a symbol of freedom and democracy? Think for just a moment. How is the White House a symbol of freedom and democracy? Well, we know a symbol is something that res represents something else. And democracy is a government which people choose their leaders. And because we are the people, we get to vote who moves into the White House and who is our president, which is a symbol of our freedom. So as an American citizen, we can view the White House as a symbol of freedom because we are the people who put that person in office with our vote. Right now, who lives in the White House? Correct. President Trump lives in the White House right now. But that could be changing pretty soon. We don't know what's going to happen until the election happens. It's coming up pretty soon here. And it's either going to be President Trump or Joe Biden will move into the White House, depending on who wins. We'll see. But we get to make that choice with our vote. And that is why the White House does represent a symbol of freedom and a symbol of democracy. We're going to take a look at another paper right here. So this is a little passage about some more information of the White House. I'm going to read starting from the top. Feel free to follow along. The White House is a symbol of the President and America. A symbol is something that represents something else. It also stands for democracy. A democracy is a government in which people choose their leaders. The White House is located in Washington, D.C. The city is the capital of the United States. The president lives in the White House. The Oval Office is where the president works. The president gives many speeches in the Rose Garden. The White House has been a place where important decisions have been made since the 1800s. World leaders have often met with the president at the White House. Sometimes they sign treaties. A treaty is an agreement between two or more countries or governments. The White House is one of the most famous buildings in the world. Many people take tours of the White House and learn about the building's past. So you can see a drawing of the White House there. And then below that we also have some words and some definitions that we are going to match with the correct word there. So I'm going to read through our words. We have Treaty, Washington, D.C., President, Oval Office, and Democracy. Now let's look at our definitions. Leader who lives in the White House. A government in which the people choose their leaders. Agreement between two or more countries or governments. Where the White House is located. And lastly, the President's Office in the White House. So let's start with our number one there is treaty. Which definition do you think matches treaty? If you don't remember, you could look back in our reading where a treaty is an agreement between two or more countries. 
look right here, an agreement between two or more countries. So treaty matches that definition. What about Washington, D.C.? Washington, D.C. is where the president's, the White House is located and where the president lives is Washington, D.C. Number three, the president. Which definition matches the president? That would be the leader who lives in the White House next to the Oval Office. The Oval Office is the president's office in the White House. And then lastly, democracy. See if you can find the correct definition for democracy. Democracy is a government in which people choose their leaders. And that is what we have here in the United States is a democracy. Because during elections, we have the choice to go and vote and we can elect who we want in office. So for example, our presidential election is coming up. If you are over the age of 18, you would be able to go and vote for who you want to move into the White House and who you want to be our leader of the United States. All right, that was just a little bit of information about the White House. After this video, you are going to listen to a short little book with some more information on the White House. And then after that, you will post to a discussion board just about something you have learned through this lesson and something that you found interesting about the White House. Please respond in at least two sentences. All right, that is it for today. If you have any questions, please reach out. Have a great day.